Okay, this lesson is a company's set, chapter 3.1, and this is about the Lincoln Index, which is a methodology of counting population with capture mark uh, recapture methodology. And so the, the, the overall methodology is called capture mark and recapture, and the Lincoln Index is the mathematical formula that is used to come up with a population estimate. And this is a population estimate um, uh, methodology that you would use when you are working with a fast-moving population or um, one that is uh, uh, moving around a lot or moving around very quickly. Um, so mice, small birds, um, even insects actually can be can be um, captured and marked and, re and recaptured then. And so let's look at our our population here of mice. And I I got this this graphic from a site called BioNinja.com. It's a pretty good site. Might be worth taking a look at. And so here's our population of mice, our total population of mice. Now in the real world, you can't see the total population of mice, and that's why we need to do an estimate. Um, and so let's and, and the way that the mark and recapture method works is that our population total is equal to the total caught the first time. And that is sometimes represented as N1. And then times the total caught second time. And that is sometimes represented as N2. And then that is all divided by the recaptures. And that is N3. And so what we would do is we would capture mice in a trap. And so here's what was captured. And they, there were eight of them captured. And they all were marked, you can see right there on their head, they all were marked with uh, yellow paint or like fingernail polish. They were released back into the wild. And here's the, the key with, with this working is that you have to capture uh, enough of the population, hopefully about 20%. Now you never know if you do or not. And so repeating this and getting consistent measurements is one way to know that you're getting enough captured. And then you have to let them go and re be released long enough to resume normal activity. If you let them go and then capture them again right away, then they haven't resumed normal activity. You're just going to catch the same ones and you're going to get a skewed number. So if it's something like mice, you might need to wait a few days and let them move around and, and do what they do. And some get killed and, and, and some move out and immigrate and emigrate and, and so forth. So this first time, we caught eight. Here they are. So this is our N1 is, N1 is eight. And then we capture again and we caught eight again. And then we and that is our N2. And then we look at, of those that we captured the second time, how many were recaptures? And it's just the ones here in the center of what looks like a Venn diagram here. And so that is 2. So 8 times 8 divided by 2 equals 32. So that is our estimate based on the Lincoln Index now, if we actually count them up, which we can do in this case, we end up that there are actually 25. So we see that it is just an estimate. Um, it isn't exact. And the way that you can um, check this is you keep doing it. You do multiple trials. And if you get a consistent number, then you can take an average and go from there. Um, but with a, with a population like this that might be very large or very numerous or very fast moving, you can't count them all. And so this is, this is what you can do. All right, so let's let's look at how you might do this. So one of the things we use is a Sherman trap. Um, that's what this is called here. And this is a common thing to use. And you can see that the mouse 
goes in this end. There's food on a little plate in this end, and they step on it, and the door closes, and they're trapped inside, and they're alive. And so then you have to get them out, and you have to pull them out, and you mark them. And you can mark them um, with a band, with a number, and or you can mark them with a microchip. And then if you do that, then you can use a reader and just hold it up to the trap, and it'll read it and transfer the data electronically. And this is if you want to know individuals, if you want to keep track of individuals in the population, so more than just the numbers, um, but more population density information about how long individuals are living, how far they might be traveling, things like that. You can also mark where you don't need to know the individuals, but you can use um, a paint or like fingernail polish. Um, or, as, it, as gruesome as it sounds, you can actually clip the end of a toe off and it doesn't seem to have a lasting, as long as you don't clip too many toes on, on the mouse, it doesn't seem to affect them a whole lot. Um, and that's a more permanent way to mark them, a little bit gruesome. Now you can also make your own Sherman traps. Here's an example of a homemade Sherman trap. And so they took a like a soup can, they put a mouse trap in here, and you put the food right there, and the mouse comes and eats that food, and that springs the trap, and then that springs the door closed. Um, disadvantage of these kind of traps is the mouse is standing right here, right here, which means they're a bit on a catapult, and they might be catapulted into the end of the can. Generally it's okay, put a little padding in there, it's a fun ride for them, uh, but probably not. Um, or um, if you have a larger mouse and they're hanging out here in the end, they can actually get caught against this right there which kills them. So not the best method, the Sherman trap is, is, is a better way to go, but, but the homemade trap can be, can be done too. Um, I use these in college and we didn't kill many mice. Um, and then lastly, I want you to think about, so humans, the US government does a census every year and they do this because it's required by the constitution and the constitution says that we will take a census. Now, a lot of people would say that we would actually be better off to do something that is more of a sampling method, um, which this, of course, is a sampling method. Now, I want you to think about, would we use mark, or excuse me, capture, mark, and recapture for a methodology of doing a sampling of the human population in the United States? Probably not. Probably not the best way to go to capture people. It's kind of fun to think about of, you know, could we have a, a trap for someone, a big box with a dollar bill sitting in it, and they get captured and then they get marked. Probably not the way to go. You know, so I have this picture of Homer here. Like he's got the pie, got the, got the, the, uh, um, the leg trap there. Of course, what's going to happen to Homer? There he is upside down. So we can mark Homer. Imagine putting a little fingernail polish on the top of Homer's head. He wouldn't be able to get it off because he is Homer. Release him back into the wild, then set the trap again and see if you can capture him again. Um, so I suppose we could do this for humans, and it might give us a more accurate than the human than the, the census, um, but probably not legal. So maybe not the best method.